Hi everyone. In this video we'll discuss how to create and prepare an ER diagram for Barangay Management System. Please don't forget to click the notification bell to receive free updates. The capstone project entitled Barangay Management System is available in two flavors. One is good for local area network, this version will work in an offline setting. Two is the online version written in PHP and MySQL. The core feature includes the resident profiling, blotter report and certificate issuance. The first step in the development of the Barangay Management System is to prepare the ER diagram that will serve as the basis later on in the creation of the actual database. We will create and explain the process of making the Entity Relationship Diagram of Barangay Management System. We will follow the three basic rules in creating the ER diagram. 1. Identify all the entities. 2. Identify the relationship between entities and 3. Add meaningful attributes to our entities. Step 1. Identify all entities. Entity is represented by the rectangle shape. The entity will be our database table of Barangay Management System later on. In the Barangay Management System we have the following entities. 1. User 2. Logs 3. Resident 4. Clearance 5. Zone 6. Permit 7. Household 8. Activity 9. Activity Photo 10. Blotter 11. Official. After we have specified our entities, it is time now to connect or establish a relationship among the entities. 1. The user encodes the Barangay officials, one-to-many relationship. 2. The user encodes the Barangay activities for the entire year, one-to-many relationship. 3. The activity contains photos or images, one-to-many relationship. 4. The user processes the blotter reports, one-to-many relationship. 5. The user processes the permit requests by the resident, one-to-many relationship. 6. The user processes and prints the clearances of residents, one-to-many relationship. 7. The system records the activity of the user, one-to-many relationship. 8. The resident belongs to a specific zone or poor oak, one-to-one relationship. 9. The resident belongs to a specific household, one-to-one relationship. 10. The household is recorded in a zone, one-to-one relationship. 11. The resident can only process one clearance at a time, one-to-one relationship. 12. The resident can only process one permit at a time, one-to-one relationship. The last part of the ERD process is to add attributes to our entities. User entity has the following attributes. ID-primary key represented with underline. Complete name. Username. Password. Type. Logs entity has the following attributes. ID-primary key represented with underline. User ID-foreign key. Log date. Action. Resident entity has the following attributes. ID-primary key represented with underline. First name. Last name. Middle name. Birth date. Birthplace. Age. Zone ID-foreign key. Total household. Differently abled person. Related to head of family. Marital status. Blood type. Civil status. Occupation. Monthly income. Household no. Length of stay. Religion. Nationality. Gender. Skills. Phil health no. Highest educational attainment. House ownership status. Land ownership status. Dwelling type. Water usage. Lightning facilities. Sanitary toilet. Former address. Remarks. Image. Username. Password. Clearance entity has the following attributes. ID-primary key represented with underline. Resident ID-foreign key. Clearance no. Or no. Amount. User ID-foreign key. Status. Purpose. Findings. Date recorded. Zone entity has the following attributes. ID-primary key represented with underline. Zone. Username. Password. Permit entity has the following attributes. ID-primary key represented with underline. Resident ID-foreign key. Business name. Business address. Type of business. Date recorded. Status. Or no. Amount. User ID-foreign key. Household entity has the following attributes, 
ID dash primary key represented with underline zone ID dash foreign key household ID dash foreign key household member head of family. Activity entity has the following attributes. ID dash primary key represented with underline. Activity. Date of activity. Description. User ID dash foreign key. Activity photo entity has the following attributes. ID dash primary key represented with underline. Activity ID dash foreign key. File name. Blotter entity has the following attributes. ID dash primary key represented with underline. Year recorded. Date recorded. Complainant. Location of incidents. Person to complain. Complain. Action take. Complain status. User ID dash foreign key. Official entity has the following attributes. ID dash primary key represented with underline. Complete name. Contact. Position. Address. Term start. Term end. Status. User ID dash foreign key. Entity relationship diagrams illustrate the relationships between entities in a database. This can be helpful in understanding how the data is organized and how it can be accessed. Additionally, ER diagrams can help in designing and creating a database. Finally, ER diagrams can be used for data analysis and reporting. Entity, a thing or concept that is represented in a database by a row in a table. Entity relationship, the association between entities in a database. ER diagram, a type of entity relationship diagram that shows the relationships between tables and columns in a database. The ER diagram designed for Barangay Management System will be a great help and source of information in the next stage of the project which will be the actual database design. Thank you for watching. For more free capstone projects ideas and resources, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates on our channel. You may also reach us on our Facebook page and website.